Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to reset your Kodi box or Android box using one of these. Okay, so you've got your Android box, uh, Kodi box, or whatever it may be. This one in particular is the uh, TX3 Mini, which you can see in a link in the description below. Uh, this is a great little Android box, and it costs about £20. And it's been fantastic for streaming videos, etc., going on the internet, and just an all round media consumption device. But every now and then, like all good things, they must come to an end. And this one got into a state where it was in a reboot loop. So when you turn it on, the TX3 Mini logo would come up, and then it would turn off, and then try and do it again. So there was something wrong with the program itself, so you needed to reset it. Now, because you can't access the main menu, and this is useless without being on the menu, there's nothing you can do from the actual UI. So you have to take matters into your own hands and get yourself a SIM tool or a reset tool or just a pin of some sort. And you'll find on a lot of these devices, this is specific to this one obviously, but a lot of these Android devices have got a reset pin on the bottom which will help you out in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and try and reset this now. So if you look at the base of the box, you should find there is a reset hole or pin hole. So what you need to do is disconnect the power, put the pin into the hole, and depress it until you hear a little click, keep it held in, and then restore the power, which is a little bit fiddly. So keep the button held in, the TX3 or whatever your brand of box logo should come up and just keep on holding that pin in probably about 10-15 seconds after you first turned it on. Now what this is doing is telling the box that although you've turned it on and you're expecting a normal boot because the reset switch is kind of depressed it goes and starts its recovery process. So hold it in there a little bit longer which it's normally a little bit longer than the normal boot process and then you can remove the pin. Now this is the bit that takes a little while because now it's going to have to go into its recovery setup which does take a little while. So be patient, if it doesn't do it straight away just bear with, it will happen eventually. So you can see now the Android uh, dead robot has come up and he's got his little red exclamation mark on his belly which means he's not very well and from now you get the Android recovery menu it tells you your version of Android etc and it tells you what keys you can use to control this menu so you've got various options so you can have a reboot system now reboot to bootloader apply update from ADB apply update from EXT so you could, if you've got BIOS updates you can use them on a USB stick or something like that um, if you're having problems, first of all, you don't want to lose all of your data, the best thing to do is to choose wipe data, uh, sorry, wipe cache partition. If you do, if you wipe the cache partition, basically all your apps use a, a cache for storage of uh, settings, etc. And sometimes that can get corrupted and cause boot failure. So try that one first, the wipe cache partition, um, and then once it's done that, you can then reboot the system. And fingers crossed, it should work again. But if it doesn't, this is kind of like the uh, the last attempt you can make is to uh, wipe data and factory reset. Now this will erase all data which is on the device. It won't divide, It won't um, delete anything on USB cards or memory sticks which are attached to it. But in this particular instance, I would suggest if you are going to try and be doing any of this, any additional storage which you've got plugged into the device, now's a good time to unplug it before you go ahead and wipe anything. So using either the supplied remote control or a USB keyboard and mouse, you can go through the menu and we're going to do a wipe data and full factory reset. So it comes up with a warning message, uh, wipe all user data, this cannot be undone. And we want to go ahead and do that, so we'll choose yes. So now you get the, the normal kind of Android erasing icon which is common on quite a lot of devices 
and it's done the wipe already, that's pretty quick. So now we can choose to reboot the system now. Again, using the remote control or USB keyboard and mouse, just select or press enter. And now we play the waiting game again. So it will stay on the TX3 Mini logo for a little while, and then it should start going through the, um, the kind of animation for Google, which again, will take a little while. It will take a lot longer than usual because this is its very first system boot. So um, you possibly may get stuck on this actual, this section. It shouldn't take any longer than five minutes. If it's taken longer than five minutes, then start the process again, go through the whole thing and reboot again. Probably a couple of minutes should be more than enough to get you back into your operating system. Now while you're waiting for this to happen, if you're doing it on your own device, now is probably a really good time to click on the subscribe button at the bottom. And don't forget, if you do click subscribe, click on the little icon next to it, which is the chime icon, so that when I do release a new video, you get notified of it and you get an email to your inbox. Sorry, I had to plug it. And we're still waiting. So while we're waiting for this, another thing I'll plug now is uh, my Amazon referral link. So if you want to get yourself a TX Mini, or any other Android or Kodi type box, if you click on the Amazon links in the video description below, uh, every time you do and buy something I get a little kickback which all helps keep the channel running and helps me make more videos to help you guys out. So if you can click on any of those links, it would be very much appreciated. And we're still waiting. What else can I plug? You can always subscribe to our other sister channel which is uh, ShopSmart. You can go there and get all the latest information on good deals and catalogues in the UK and throughout the world. Uh, at the moment there's catalogues for Lidl I believe and some of the other bigger high street brands but go and check out the link below and you can subscribe there and help us out. And we're still waiting. I may or may not cut segments of this video out so if it's a bit choppy you know what. I told you it takes a while. <laughs> there we go. So the wait was definitely worth it. So at the moment now we've got our setup menu. So this is the very first menu you'd see when you buy a TX3 Mini um, or any of these kind of devices. So it's all ready for setup and uh, you can go ahead and carry on enjoying your Kodi box and your movies and entertainment the way you would normally. So that is how to do a full factory reset on a TX3 Mini. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and we'll catch you again in the very next video. Thanks for watching.